morning, good evening, good afternoon, good middle of the night, wherever you're at watching this video. This guide is for, is this crash? Modifiers, incoming arc and environment damage increase. What that means is on my chest piece, I'm running uh, arc resistance and concussive dampener. Everything else is like the generic GM uh, Nightfall mod. It's going to be overload and barrier in this Nightfall. And then when when you kill Vandals, they spawn a, a, a little mine and then it blows up and it turns into a slow field. When it comes to team composition, the best that worked for me was either two Warlocks and one Sentinel Shield. The two locks were on Well with Phoenix or two Ursa Titans and one Well. And one of the main like key things here is I ran Cartesian. We had two people with Cartesian and it worked really well on the final boss. If you have Cartesian anywhere, you know, in your vault, especially if you have one with Warple, uh, throw boss spec on it. It is going to melt Tavix really quick. It, it's a phenomenal weapon right now. Everything else kind of depends on you. There are also more overloads than there are barriers. So maybe you have one person on barrier and two people on overload. So my loadout as a Titan, I'm running middle three with uh, Ursus. Also try to make sure your intellect is pretty high, maybe between tier eight tier 10. All right, I have a Whispering Slab on for uh, Overload. I'm running Cartesian myself because there's going to be times where I'll, I'll be able to do damage as well. And I'm running Xenophage. A lot of people ask why am I running Xenophage. I like running Xenophage because at the beginning, there's a bunch of snipers. I can one-shot them. The dregs on the sparrows, I can one-shot them. And one thing that's in the strike, arc damage is increased. So dregs and vandals are very deadly. Those little, like, Firm shots that they put out normally like three tap you. So with Xeno, I can kind of get rid of them with one shot, especially if they're like goofed up. Um, and you'll see me kind of like go with that when we go through the strike. Beta, he's running uh, well with Phoenix. He's as on uh, an AR, a Cartesian, and Reese Regret. Also, if you, if you don't know yet, make sure on your bond you have particle deconstruction on. That's going to help out a lot, especially with wood damage. And the stump is also on the well. He's running Phoenix. He has on a bow for overload. He's running Cartesian. He has Lament on. Remember, Lament also works against barriers. So he's basically covering both. And it does great damage. When it comes to shields in this strike, they're only solar shields. And it's only on the big heavy shanks. So if you're running Cartesian, you kind of got covered. If you don't have a Cartesian, you still have no Composure. That works really well. Any rapid fire uh, fusion, I would probably recommend from a boss spec on it. Even if you have the the blue one, the Nox Carded, the the arc one, you can't put boss spec on it, but it still does work for rapid fire. Or maybe you have a Zilla from uh, the Garden of Salvation Raid. All right, let's let's get in there. I think I got two of the drags right away because they normally spawn right in front of us. There might be one more. I'm going to go after the bottom snipers. Bottom snipers are down. It should just be the mid sniper. There might be one sparrow guy all the way in the far back. I see him. Uh, unless no, I think you got him. You got him. So. One more set of coordinates. Can't be far. Both snipers are down. I'm gonna go up so I can bait this damn uh Pharaoh guy unless you got a bit. Okay, you went up to bait him. Alright. Where is he? There he is. There's a drag on a sparrow. There he goes, he's down. He likes to like push. The best thing to do is if you go up to that left side there, you can kind of bait him out instead of like coming down here because he can just run you over. Um, 
for this part i normally like leave one of the arc pulses up because i like to play out all the ads and then go through the last pulse so you can deal with the last set of ads right after I'm gonna leave this one up on this right side here. There's also four invisible boys. That's one, two, three, four. There's four marauders when you come up on that stuff. And don't forget about the, the drag and the shrinks behind you here. Okay, they're down. And then basically, as long as you have two people ready to kind of work on those ads, you can have the last person kind of go through this. So Vader and Stump are already ready to go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through this. Boom. And then those now next set of ads come out. There's a few Shanks, a few Vandals, and a, and a champion captain. And this guy's not too bad. He's the rocket captain. He's not a shotgun captain either. Next room has a few, like, Greg, Fallen, Vandal, and then it has one champion on that side as well. Even stuns on next room when you walk in sometimes like the invisible marauders might push you what you want to do is you kind of want to establish yourself in a room this little hallway that we're in that's like the best place to kind of be the reason why is because you don't want to add shooting from your left or your right and like i said i'm gonna back up now um the champions are a big of a deal as much as the the red bars the dregs and the vandals they're very uh, deadly. Let me see. We have there's another dragon on that right side. I can't see. Man. Come on, we got. Okay. He's down. All right, cool. That is working. Which one are you working on? That side is down. Also, watch out for those arc little bullets. Those things go quick. All right, one quick uh, tip for this room. Here's the thing. You can actually push this to 50% if you have the supers to do it, right? But what we're gonna do here is, I'm gonna hack this, and at 10%, Beta's gonna put his well on this plate, and we're gonna work on ads. There's gonna be one champion that comes out, and then another comes out when we get to 50%, right? And then we'll have two servers come in. So the main focus is to get rid of dregs, and wretches, and the little shanks. As soon as that's done, you'll notice that the room is a lot clearer, and we're already at 50%. If you drag this along, like if you get off the plate and get back on, it might be a little bit longer. What you can also do is you step on, you get it to that 15%, you come back here, you drop the wall to do it. Now, if, you, if you're comfortable in this game, you know what you're doing, you're going to start this up 10%, you drop a wall on the plate, get rid of the small lads, and then when you get to 50, you can basically uh, bypass the phase. So you'll see that you only have to get on this plate twice if you do this correctly. I'm also going to be making orbs for the like for the next wall. So you basically want to generate orbs for the next guy throughout the whole thing. All right, I'm backing up. What's the time on this wall? Seven seconds. All right, champion behind us. He's on the right side. Okay, there you go. All right, he's done. All right, so that was basically the first part right there. You get rid of those two champions. Then you work on these, uh, these tanks. 
And remember, when you're in the wall, it counts as a super. So you can shoot anything that's tied to the servitor. Now, once all of these guys are down, our main focus here is going to be the the servitor on the left side. I mean, you can take out the guy on the right side too, but we're going to take out the guy on the left side. Once he's dead, that's when we're going to retreat. All right, so we're going to retreat here because now there's going to be a little bit of mayhem. There's going to be three champions coming in. I'm going to pop my super in front of these guys. The best thing to do is if you have a wall, you're going to place it right here on the bottom of these stairs. All right, which allows the Titan to kind of come in the front because if I'm in the well, I'm not going to make orbs because since I'm being healed, I'm not going to be taking damage. But if I stand right in the front, I can make orbs to my teammates. And as you're getting low as the Titan, make sure you back into the well. That's why it's smart like, to stand right in front of the well. That's one champion down. There goes a second right there. And there goes the third. He's the rocket guy, so we don't have to worry that much. The shotgun is uh, the more annoying one. All right, so now you can get ammo, get what you need. Then after that, you can take this guy out. One important thing too, if you don't know what Dynamo does, when it comes to helping you get your super energy back, I have a video on Dynamo. So if you're already in the channel, make sure you type like you type Dynamo into my uh, YouTube, and you should see a video about it. Okay, so after you get all your ammo to initiate the next one, you step on. When this plate gets to about 67, 68 percent, you're gonna drop a well again. As right. soon as this happens. He's gonna drop the well. I'm gonna block right in front. Let's do it. Now it's coming. Oh. He's to the left. He teleported to us. Yeah. It happens. Yeah, normally I was gonna say if you put the well right on the base, we could have just got rid of all the the small fellas. All right, now we got to back up. This this will happen as well, right? Like things don't go as planned sometimes in videos. But as you can see, you can always back up, get rid of ads, and then go from there. But normally, you just have to step on a plate twice. Every time you step on a plate, you get off. The game kind of spawns in ads, right? I don't know if it's capped or not, but generally, you would have to go through two phases of these heavy shanks, vandals, and a captain. If you could push it from 50 to 100, you know, like you stand your ground, you only have one wave of ads to deal with. So, you could take your time, or you can go fast. It's completely up to you. Uh -oh. the, the Vandals got you. Give me a second. Yeah. Alright, Vandals are down. Just stun the overload for now. Mm. Oh, oh, Vandals are dead. So, just us and him now. Yeah. You can see those Vandals hit hard. It's freaking ridiculous. When ads come out, one thing to focus on, vandals, drags. They hit harder than champions. All right, next room, what I like to do is just barrel forward and then go to the right side of the room. The reason why I want to do that is because there's that fallen skiff and it does a crap ton of damage. I always kind of want to just let it uh, leave before anything else. There's going to be a vandal and three drags back here. You just get rid of them. You don't get shot in the back. All right, is that skip gone? Okay, the skip is about to leave. All right, skip is gone. Now you can kind of work on the tank. If you're a Titan running middle tree, you should be able to throw a few grenades at this guy. It'll do damage. You can see that my grenade is coming back. Throw another. With my grenade back again. That's not down yet.
All right, he's done. All right, next room, when you get into it, if one of the locks, to definitely move up to the rock on the left and drop a well down there. There it is. It kind of lets you uh, get some cover in the room. There's a few ads to take down. The champion's on the top side. Keep him stunned. Keep him stunned. Dead. That guy just dropped Hello. down, I think. Is he dead? Yeah, I killed him. Looks like a drag or something now. Shot it. I like using Xeno for this part because basically you can one shot most things. The Vandal takes two shots. That's about it. When you first get in this room, whoever used their wall at the bottom is not going to have their super right away. But you can let that person take out uh, the shanks and then just leave the shank that's on the far left side. That guy, keep that guy alive. Wait for your, uh, wait for the third guy to get their super. And then you go from there. When it comes to wells, you don't want to put the wells too far up. You kind of, you don't want to go past this line right here. Whatever this thing is, you don't want to go past it. You're going to drop the wells here. The reason why I say that is because you have this as cover and you kind of have this as cover as well. Arc is very potent in this strike, and you need all the cover that you can get, even if I'm blocking. Now, our main goal is, boss comes in, Thump is going to drop the well. I'm going to pop my super block right in front of him. They're going to have weapons of light. The boss is going to come in. They're going to shred him with uh, Cartesian. The boss is going to go away. There's going to be ads that come in. Now, the best thing is to kind of time it out. You want to leave one ad up. So you guys can basically have your supers ready for the next round. There's going to be a drag. That comes around, leave the drag up. You don't want the vandals because the vandals are a little bit more annoying than drags. But worst come to worst, leave a vandal up, get your super by killing shanks in the room, and then go from there. All right, I'm killing this guy. I see. Come from mid. Yep, you can drop well slump. He's you left. See that the boss left. He's coming back in. Boom. And he's fully gone. Now, if you're a lock, you kind of want to pay attention to the timer on the wall of radiance. Because this one's about to go out. To put another one down. I don't think we need a wall, do we? Just yeah. Run. Yeah. No, drop it, baby. Because then it's going to change. Oh, okay. So the thing is, when you drop that well, you're going to get most of yours back from us killing these ads. And then the Titan yeah, will the basically have his back from it. Okay. Do we just kill yeah, him? I'm just going to kill the Shanks. Okay, no, I'm, I'm leaving this right uh, so, uh, yep. And the Stump, you have so yours, right? I'll have mine any second. Okay, perfect. There is an orb out there. I can go grab it. Yeah, go, go ahead. All right, I'm full. <sighs> All right. I'm taking this guy out. All right, so now the boss is going to be coming from the right side of the room. All right, so when he comes in, we're going to drop a well. As he gets close, the sign's going to pop the super. Ball you stuff, if you have it. Better, you All right, I'll pop three, two, one, pop. Oh. Nah, push it for some reason. He's coming from the right side. There you go. I'm getting rid of all the vandals around us. Positioning. That was all. Was that all of them? Yeah, I don't have mine, but yeah. There's heavy right here, though. I need it. All right, yeah. hurry up. He's coming up from mid. 
The wall only has two Wall's seconds. Gonna be out. There you yeah. go. Yeah, man. Get okay. It. Get him more of a car season. Dude, I'm looking at his life to go down so fast. All right, so the boss is going to be coming in one last time. And there you are. When it comes to doing Hello? like a bunch of damage to the boss and chucking it off, if you have a rapid fire, fusion, especially Cartesian with Warple, you throw a boss spec, it's going to make this fight a lot more smoother. So the quicker you get the boss out of the room, the easier it is for you to control the rest of the room. So boom, there goes my video. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. And overall, make sure you share with your friends, man. Thank you for watching. See you guys in the next video.